Hey everybody, um, I'm doing my 365 days of film. So today is day five and uh, I review a film a day for an entire year. So today's film is Mommy. Basically what Mommy is, is it's a, a foreign film directed by Xavier Dolan and Xavier Dolan is only 26 years old. He's a Canadian filmmaker and um, he's really inspirational to me because being uh, only 24, I wanna start filmmaking young as well and most filmmakers are in their 30s by the time they start really really getting in there and this this uh man has already made three or four feature films and this is his fourth one and it uh mommy won the uh, grand jury prize at Cannes. so if you guys know what the Cannes film festival is it's uh in france every single year and it's pretty much uh the best awards that you could get. I mean, the Academy Awards are a really big deal as well, but they're really, the Academy Awards are really American, Americanized awards. They have a foreign films category, but very rarely to do uh, films make it into the uh, best pictures. So basically what Mommy is about is it's about this mother that um, has a son and, and sadly she loses her husband. So, so her son also loses his father and the son has ADHD and is really, really violent and has these violent outbursts. So he was in a kind of institution specifically for that away from her. So the movie kind of starts with her going and getting her son after her son kind of did this act that, um, that the school did just didn't want him around anymore. And of course I won't spoil the film for any of you guys. So she takes him back and, uh, and he has these violent outbursts, you know, he's not taking his medication and stuff like that. And, and it's really, really difficult for her. And don't, don't think that like it's difficult for her in, in the normal ways because she's kind of, her character is kind of, uh, I don't know how you would say it, kind of rude and stuff. And you could see why her son kind of got to the way he is a lot from the way his mom acts. And the movie is no holes bar. I mean, it shows things that, um, that might make you feel uncomfortable, but that's part of it. You know, the film, if a film can make you feel uncomfortable, I feel like that's, uh, you know, directing the audience, you're achieving your goal. And the way that um, mommy plays out is kind of interesting. Uh, they have this neighbor that comes over and she used to teach and she doesn't anymore. And she kind of home helps homeschool them. And by being in their life, uh, the kid really starts to do well. I mean, he's only 15 years old, so he starts to do well and stuff like that. And what's really interesting artistically about this film is the way that it's done. Uh, if you've ever seen a video, and this video will be like this in the replay, but if you have a video straight up like this is right now, shot on a phone, then the sides, the aspect ratio is wrong. You know, there's nothing on the sides of it. And the whole movie basically is almost like that until the kid really starts to feel comfortable in, the, in who he is and starts to do well. Then the, the film starts to open up and go widescreen. And I think that that is an, an incredible technique to use to kind of show how comfortable the kid is in the situation. And it doesn't do it all the time, so it's not like back and forth, back and forth. But by doing that, it really signifies the moments that are good, and then when it closes again, the moments that are bad. And there is a scene in this mo movie, guys, that me and Hannah were watching, and we both almost cried. I mean, this movie, uh, this film is, in my top three of the year. This is why I don't give out top 10 lists uh, right at the beginning of January. I don't really believe in giving a top 10 list so early in the year when there's so many foreign films that haven't, you know, I haven't seen yet. And this whole film is in French, so it's sub English subtitled. Uh, there is bits and pieces of English in it because it's in Canada, but um, the most of the movie is subtitled. So, uh, if that's something that kind of irks you or something that you might not want to uh, check out just because it's subtitled, I highly re recommend you do and just give it a shot. You know, a lot of people um, may not watch subtitled movies because of having to consistently read and stuff like that and thinking that it maybe takes you out of the immersion of the film because you're not really watching more than you're reading. But I can tell you right now that the more that you watch them, the better that you get. You know, you'll be able to read the entire dialogue really fast and then go back to what you're watching. And the way that this movie's shot also helps uh, a ton because since it's in that aspect ratio, um, the subtitles are just right there under it, most of the movie, and you can, it, it's really easy to do that. So I would say that this is a good film to kind of get into if you've never watched foreign films that are subtitled. So Mommy is an incredible film. It is one of my favorite films of the year now. And uh, 
I mean, I can't wait to rewatch it. It is incredible, you guys. I highly recommend you go see it, or you don't even have to go see it. You can rent it and stuff like that digitally. Uh, it is, I, I'm giving it the highest praise that I could give it. I mean, um, it is the best film that I possibly have seen this year, or in 20, that came out in 2015. And that's saying a lot. I've seen a ton of movies in 2015, and this film just blew me away. So that's pretty much my review for Mommy. I don't want to give a ton of it away because there's stuff that happens in the film that you really need to experience for yourself. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for your support. I, I'm starting to get in a rhythm of these now, and it's really, really exciting me. And, uh, and uh, I hope that I'm bringing you guys value and, and so on. So uh, thank you so much for getting on here. And uh, I really, really, really hope you guys check out Mommy. So uh, even if you just go check out the trailer, uh, I'll possibly post the trailer with the replay of this. So you guys can see what the movie's kind of all about. But uh, yeah, man, it's crazy. I'm just still coming off of the, uh, the just watching it. I had to get on here immediately. Sometimes I take 15 to 20 minutes to really think about it. But uh, I was so passionate about what I had just seen that I needed to get on here and uh, talk to you guys immediately. So thank you so much, you guys. Really appreciate you. Uh, the replay of this will be up. And uh, I don't have any films set up for tomorrow. Um, me and Hannah possibly are going to go see Room tomorrow, which is one of the movies that is, uh, if you guys have heard anything about it, I highly suggest you look it up. And if it is in your area, I recommend you go see it because I love to support independent films. And I hope you guys do too, because, um, you know, you have to help the big films and the small films, you know, just going, I've seen Star Wars now twice and maybe I'll review it one of these, one of these days, but, uh, also going and seeing those independent films that, you know, those new up and rising, uh, filmmakers are out there. So definitely help them out. Uh, and yeah, if you guys want to recommend any films to me, uh, definitely shoot me a message on Facebook or post, uh, in the replay of this or even post on here. I love your guys' recommendations. I'm going to probably be taking a recommendation or a couple recommendations because I'm flying to uh, New York to do the Life Mechanics event. I'll be shooting and uh, editing the Life Mechanics event with my father and Bill Ebert. So I'll be on a plane for eight hours from Montana to New York. So I'll be watching a bunch of movies in that time. So if you guys have any that you can recommend to me that aren't in theaters that I can possibly uh, download and rent, uh, I love that. So thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate your support, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.